This segment of the news is brought to you by Desert View Hospital, providing emergency medical care around the clock at 360 South Lola Lane. Learn more at DesertViewHospital.com. Physicians are not employees or agents of this hospital. News is also brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. Welcome back to News 46. Well, a ribbon cutting was held today at Lisa Bond Real Estate by the Pahrump Valley Chamber of Commerce. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Sue Bai with the Chamber of Commerce, and we're so excited to be here with Alan and Lisa Bond at Lisa Bond Real Estate. We've recently relocated to a brand new office. Uh, the address is 3130 South Highway 160, just south of the Homestead Interchange. Um, Lisa, at this time, would you like to cut the ribbon? There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, for being here. We wish you, wish you very much success in your new location. Thank you. Thank you. We're very excited to uh, announce for the Pahrump Valley our, our opening in this new location. We've been operated out of our previous location for two and a half years. We've outgrown it, an opportunity to move into a larger location, and we're here to say to Pahrump, we're here. We're open. Let's go. <laughs> Um, you guys had a ribbon cutting before at the former location. You have quite a crowd here. Yes, we do. I'm very thankful that all of our friends and family and um, business associates showed up to support us and let us know that they appreciate what we're doing. Thank you. Tell me about your specialties, commercial, residential, land. Well, um, first and foremost, we are residential real estate agents that list and sell property. We're also property managers, and we have several properties that we manage here in the Valley. And so is that for residential property management? Yes, residential property management is what we do. I hear the market's scarce right now. Is that true? There's not a lot of homes on the market. It is a low inventory, so we have more buyers than we have sellers. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and so it's definitely a seller's market out there right now. It's, it's becoming a seller's market, and we need more listings. There you go. So uh, you are here at 3130 South Highway 160. What's the hours of operation? We are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, Saturday from 10 to 3, Sunday by appointment. You have a Facebook and website? We absolutely do. It's lisabondrealestate.com. The website is lisa.bond.realestate. Perfect. Tell me about your crew. We've got 10 agents operating out of the office now. Well, actually, no, we're more than that. We're, we're, we're 12 agents out. 12 out of the office. We've got, we have three that operate remotely. Uh, and then uh, we just got a great group of people. We've, it's awesome. And we have room for three more agents, so if you're looking, come and talk to us. Why is it important to be a local agent here selling local property? Well, I feel that as a real estate agent, I came from Vegas as a Vegas agent, and I had to relearn real estate because it's not the same. We have our own microclimate for real estate, and you need a local agent to represent you. You need a local agent to list your home and a local agent to write an offer for you. Because you guys know the properties out here better than anybody. Exactly. What's the phone number? 775-764-0990. Well, big wigs head down to Jackson Hole, Wyoming in today's Business First Brief. Topping our news, a three-day power fest gets underway today in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Fed Chair Janet Yellen, along with other central bankers from around the globe, are there for an annual summit to talk about the economy. Among the predicted topics, pulling back on monetary policy that's been used to prop up the economy since the financial crisis. There's also a chance Yellen will reveal her intentions for the next rate hike. CSX is under pressure today to lay out plans to improve its train service. Amtrak's on-time performance has recently gone from bad to worse. Amazon is on track to buy Whole Foods. Shareholders of the organic grocery chain approved the $13.7 billion deal. Samsung's newest smartphone, the Galaxy 8, has arrived. Some analysts are calling the wider screen device the nicest one ever made by the company. Pre-orders for Galaxy 8 start today. It will be in stores September 15th. 
Well, good news and bad news. There was a winner for the Powerball lottery. It wasn't us, though. 53-year-old Mavis Wanchek from Chicopee, Massachusetts, won that largest single lottery jackpot in U.S. history, a whopping $758.7 million. That grand prize was in Wednesday's Powerball. The winning ticket was actually purchased at the Pride Station and Store, and Wanchek was told by one of her co workers while she was leaving work after she showed him her winning ticket while she was leaving Mercy Medical Center. He actually read her the numbers, but she said she didn't believe him at first. So then once reality settled in, she told her boss she wasn't going back to work. We were just talking about this. Your numbers were really close, huh? Really close to hers. Yeah, I picked low numbers, too, just like her. If you'll notice, no high numbers on that ticket, and she picked her own numbers just like I did. Yeah. I was kind of close, but no cigar. Darn it. Yeah. Next time. Next time. More news right after this.